Welcome back. I'm Scott Gross. Every year, the biggest gathering of nomads in the entire country takes place in Quartzsite, Arizona. It's called the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, now internationally known, following the Oscar-winning movie Nomadland. In this special report, our Adam Klepp traveled north to meet the nomads and catch up with the man who started it all. Well, this is RTR. Every year, thousands of nomads gather in Quartzsite, Arizona to socialize, get tips and tricks about life on the road, but also to meet their leader and hero, Bob Wells. Life moves a little slower in Quartzsite, Arizona. Every one of these vans and the nomads who drive them are here because of Bob Wells. Hello. Hi. In the 90s, Wells went through a divorce. Unable to support two households on one income, he started living in his van. At first, felt very ashamed and uh, like a failure. But as time went on, and every month when I didn't pay rent, I started to like it a lot. After a while on the road, Wells started a YouTube channel and a website. Hi, folks. My name is Bob Wells. Sharing with anyone what they need to know about starting life on the road. From van dwelling in the winter months. And so we're going to do, we're going to be talking about heat. To what to do when you just can't hold it to the next rest stop. The topic of today is poop. But even if you master living on wheels, life on the road can be lonely. So RTR was born in 2010 with just around 40 nomads attending. You want to have people around you. You need community. It's just part of being human. Swanky was at the first RTR. Her journey as a van dweller took her all the way to the Oscars stage as she portrayed herself in Nomadland, but ended up returning to the road, preferring seeing the stars in the sky rather than the bright lights of Hollywood. If you give me the choice between being on stage in Hollywood or being out in the desert, desert hugging a cactus, I'm going to pick the cactus. <laughs> While Swanky is an RTR veteran, Dominic Barletto is in Quartzsite for the first time. So what's with the, the dino suit? Is that just... I like onesies. <laughs> His van is complete with a bed, storage, and cooking appliances, saying life on the road was always a dream of his. I've been wanting to do this lifestyle for a while, and my last job had a lot of traveling to it, but not on my time. Uh, so when I got out of that job unexpectedly, I hopped in a van. RTR has grown to now getting close to 10,000 attendees a year four times the population of its host city. But Quartzsite's mayor and owner of the Mount Quail Cafe says the nomads are welcome anytime. The town literally sits back and in, enjoys them using our park and our businesses enjoy them coming and uh, bringing, giving a little extra boost to the economy. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, over 140,000 Americans live in their vehicles. Wells says he believes the modern economy doesn't work for everyone and that there's a better way to live. If you're disenchanted with the consumerism and the rat race and just a daily fight to survive, if, if you don't want to build your life on competing with people and getting above them and over them, there's another way to live. Reporting in Quartzsite. Adam Klett, News 11.